Welcome to our Structural Geology Lab from Western University. We are here to show you how to obtain precise orientation data by measurement with the universal stage. You can view the setup procedure of a used stage from our previous videos. Our standard measurement procedure involves six steps. First, Set all the readings to zero, including the microscope stage, A5, and the east-west axis, A4, the north-south axis, A2, and finally, the inner vertical axis, A1. Add your gypsum plate into your microscope. Step 2. Select the grain and rotate on the inner vertical axis to extinction. Step 3. Test the extinction by rotating the north-south axis. In the field of view, first rotate the inner vertical axis to extinction, which is purple on the gypsum plate. Then rotate north-south axis the green is still dark. In this situation, you can proceed to step 4. If the green lights up when rotating the north-south axis, return the north-south axis to 0 degree and then rotate 90 degrees on the inner vertical axis to the alternative extension position and test by rotating the north-south axis again. It should now remain dark. As shown here in the field of view, while rotating the inner vertical extension position, the grain is now dark. But when you check the north-south axis, the grain changed color. In this case, you need to return the inner vertical axis back to zero degree, and then rotate another 90 degrees to an alternative extinction position. It should now remain dark. When you check the north-south axis, the green should remain purple. In step 4, rotate the west-east axis 20 to 30 degrees and then rotate on the north-south axis to an extinction position. If two positions are available, select the least inclination. Now rotate the east-west axis back and forth the grain should remain dark. At the end, don't forget to lock the east-west axis at zero degree. As shown in the field of view, rotate the west-east axis 20 to 30 degrees. Stare at the grain. Now it changed color. Then rotate on the north-south axis until the grain is dark again. Rotate the east-west axis back and forth. The grain should always remain dark. Now rotate the east-west axis back to zero and lock. Don't forget to keep the north-south axis position. We can now move on to step 5. Rotate about 45 degrees on the microscope stage. Don't forget to lock it back to zero degree at the end of the step. In the field of view, when rotating the microscope stage, if the green lights up, it means the optic axis is normal to the microscope axis and to the north-south direction. Thus, the green is in horizontal orientation. If the green remained dark when rotating the microscope stage, it means the optic axis now coincides with the axis of the microscope. Thus, the grain is in vertical orientation. Step 6. Note all the readings from the axis. First, the inner vertical reading from the circle, and then the north-south axis reading from the right or the left arm. Don't forget to note which arm you got the reading from, and lastly, 
Note whether the z-axis is vertical or horizontal. This is the result from step 5. Our measurement steps are now complete.